today we are going to talk about is mbbs in italy is free if yes how it is free how what is the procedure what are the scholarships all those things and but before that we will do talk about what is mbbs in italy how to apply for it when the applications open what are the requirements for studying mbbs in italy is this program is in italian language or english language if this in the english language then do we need ielts because we will talk about all the requirement what is the biggest requirement what are all the different requirements and we will do talk about uh, what is the procedure for non europeans and what is the procedure for europeans because there are two types of students europeans those who have got passport but they just need like sort of one document from your best to start living in italy and doing their uh, education but on the other hand non european need visa so we will talk about how they can do all the process so if you have got a dream of becoming a doctor and you can't afford in usa canada or australia or if you're from pakistan or india you can't like compete there are tons of students who are competing and competition is so high so if you have got a dream then italy is right place for you because here you don't have to pay anything you are doing mbbs a very very high quality medicine so you will be doing it for free and after that you will be a great doctor and we will do talk about is mbbs in italy is really worth it because the pro- are the professor good is the course curriculum is good all these things so let's begin this video before moving on i want you to subscribe this channel and like this video and just watch till the end so that you can get all the information so that you can go to italy and become a doctor so first of all let's talk about medicine and surgery course in italy so the first thing that what is the duration of medicine and surgery course in italy and let me tell you it is six year long program and after the program you get master's degree okay this is single cycle master's degree you get master's degree and that would be like six year long course and the important thing is the medium of instruction is in english language that's super cool so it means that you don't need any italian language certificate so it means that you have to proof, show the proof of english language and we will talk about is ielts required how many bands required and we can do the other way without ielts we, can, we will talk about okay so let's a little bit touch the medicine in italy so by 2024 2025 there are 15 to 20 universities public universities in italy that are offering medicine and surgery in english language so out of those universities some universities are very very old like uh, they built in 1500 and the university of bologna or bologna so i don't know what is the true pronunciation if you know just write down in the comment i would love to hear that so this university is 1000 or 1200 years older and it means that it's more older than your grandparents grand grand grandparents so you are going to get very very high value medicine and surgery there so now let's talk about the curriculum is english and is it like a standard or is it worth it as you know it's just not like uzbekistan or the russia medicine it's a very very great medicine and surgery and once you complete that medicine and surgery you become a certified doctor after 6 years you will have license you can practice medicine and if you want to come back to pakistan or india you will have to like uh, give these separate exams but if you want to move to usa or uk you will have to attempt the usmle or plap so these are the exams as you know we will talk about these exams in our late series but uh, firstly we were talking about medicine and surgery let's go to italy do medicine and surgery then we will talk about all other exams so i hope you got a basic knowledge about medicine and surgery in italy let's talk about its requirements first of all the biggest requirement is am that is entry test as most will fear so for example in usa it is mcat in uk it is bmat in india it is neat in pakistan it is mdcat so it's just similar to that but it's more sort of concept so let me brief you about its structure it is am international medical assessment a test In this test there are 60 questions from biology chemistry physics maths logical reasoning and reading skills that we call as general knowledge so these 60 questions are worth of 90 points so if you happen to get 50 plus marks because the competition is getting so so high earlier like for example in 2019 earlier 2018 2017 you just have to get like 25 or 30 marks and you were like eligible because the competition for non eu is little bit high because the seats are limited and the competition is getting higher so it means the marks or merit is getting higher so that is all but you can do it it's easy it's not hard so if you spend 3 months preparing uh, like exclusively for am at you can really crack it you, i have got a complete and very very big series about am at the playlist link will be in video description you can watch there how to prepare i have got complete information a very very great information nobody can have so i have got that so just go and watch that so before moving on let me clarify you IELTS is required for some universities some university require B2 English language that is 5.5 band more than 6 bands i would suggest get more than 6 bands but now the important thing the some universities earlier said that if you can clear IELTS that is in English language it guarantees that you know english that's why you have got like 50 plus marks and you are a good student in english you can understand english you can write english you can speak english everything but now there are some university that have set the criteria that you must give them ielts then they will evaluate your application but for non eu student the problem is that their embassies 
their Italian embassies in their country. Those embassies have set the requirement that you must show them the IELTS, then they will grant you visa. I hope you know these things more than me. So now let's talk about how much schooling you require. Firstly, the biggest and the beautiful thing about Italy is that it requires 12 years of schooling. Just after high school, attempt time and just pass it and you will be in at least studying medicine and surgery so it's not like usa or canada where you have to do bachelors then you can do medicine and surgery medical school but it's not like that that's so beautiful that after 12 years of education high school so that you can straight forward go to italy and study medicine and surgery there but you just have to pass time at. now i hope you guys got to know that so now let's talk about the actual thing how it is free okay so first thing there are two types of scholarships okay regional scholarship and merit-based scholarship the regional scholarship is just like that state or government of Italy give you that scholarship on the base of your parents income or your real income so they give you on the base of that but that happens they start from the first year but with most of non you that thing happens they go in Italy late so that they can't like deliver their physical documents on time that's why they do not get scholarship in first year after second year of medical school you will be getting a fully funded scholarship they will be giving you enough money enough funds that you will be studying for free but if you happen to get the regional scholarship earlier, that I think goes for three years maximum, in that three years, you will be getting accommodation, one-time meal, and fully free tuition fee. Although, if you do not get scholarship, for example, there any incident can happen, if you do not get scholarship, is it is unaffordable? No, not at all. It is just like the medicine tuition fee is 1200 euros per year. That is like very, very less fee. You can earn that in a month, okay? So you can earn that in a month, but it's just yearly fee. And the major expense is food and accommodation. And that is like easily doable, like 500 euros, 600 euros per month. That is easily manageable. So don't worry about expenses and finances. It's manageable, but you will be getting scholarship at all costs because the state is so so wholesome it, it gives you scholarship all students get it and that's the beauty of studying medicine and surgery in italy secondly let's talk about merit-based scholarship if you can happen to get more like very good marks in IMAT, so there are merit-based scholarship for example if you happen to get well, like great marks or very high marks in your selected university in IMAT, then you will be getting that scholarship and that can be up to ten thousand euros in university of Padua. that is giving ten thousand euros per year to the student who get like maximum scores in Ahmed in their select in their university so it means that you can spend money on shopping as well and you can send some money to your home as well so that's not a point of discussion it means that there are tons of scholarship i'm going to make a very very detailed videos on scholarship just uh, just click the bell again below so that you can receive links i will talk about what is regional scholarship how to will that what are the deadlines and all those things and then we, are, we will talk about what are merit based scholarship in a very very detailed way so before moving on to the last question what is the procedure for non-europeans and europeans let me talk about what when does the application starts for medicine and surgery for Italy? So for non-European, it starts in March, April, in which you will have to do pre-enrollment. That is uh, also an application. But what happens is that you will be giving an application to your university. Your university will evaluate it, and after that, it will send to your embassy. So after clearing IMAT, you can get visa from your embassy. That is like one thing. But for Europeans, you just have to do pre-registration on your university website. After that, they will give you pre-acceptance letter, and if you happen to pass IMAT, you will get admission in their, that university, and that's all but the important thing is that how all this process will happen for example from pre-enrollment till the visa and how it will be happening for european one does application starts and what are the requirements that you will have to fulfill uh, for a specific university so just wait for that video i'm just about to make that video so i'm going to make a video a comprehensive process for studying medicine and surgery for europeans and non-europeans in Italy I will make that video just stay tuned for that you can follow me on Instagram where I will post all the news so you will be enjoying all the content there so thanks for watching so this is 1.2 hours long video in this video I have given all the complete process for studying MBBS in Italy and everything for I am at that you must know so just go and click on that video and you will get every information so thank you for watching see you next video the process video so till bye bye